do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter genetic basis of inheritance in that we are studying topic law of independent assortment now what is this law of independent assortment mendel did various experiments and he formulated various laws one of them is this one let's study about this law of independent assortment when i break that word independent assortment independent means on its own and when i say assortment it means segregation so mendel stated a law he said that genes which are located on different chromosomal regions or on different places on chromosomes assort independently and that results into various permutations or you can say recombination in simple language if i have to say what mendel said was whenever genes which are always in pairs or in normal terms we say alleles which are present in pairs will assort or when they categorize into two different categories during the process of meiosis that is during the process of reproduction this genes or alleles will undergo a permutation and combination there is never a set pattern for their coming together simple example would be a child now if you are two siblings for example and your parents have certain set of characteristics for example if your father has straight hairs and white skin in color and your mother has curly hairs and she is dusky there are hardly any chances that one of you will imbibe all the qualities of your father that is never possible there will be a thing which is called as mixing of qualities you will have certain qualities of your mother and certain qualities of your father now this was nothing but independent assortment what mendel studied when he did his pea plant experiment in case he took a tall pea plant having all the dominant characteristics and then he crossed it with a sh short plant or dwarf plant having all recessive characteristics what mendel observed was that the f1 hybrid or the f1 progeny had characteristics which was a combination of two or which were a mixture of two law of independent assortment now this was the second law that was stated down by mendel and according to this law what mendel stated was that genes which are located on different chromosomes assort independently resulting into different recombinations when we break down that law we all know that genes are located in pairs on chromosomes and chromosomes are also present in pairs we all know that we have total 46 numbers of chromosomes and in pairs we have 23 out of 22 are autosomes and one pair is sex chromosome so what mendel clearly stated that was whenever genes are sort or whenever permutation and combination happens especially during fertilization or during segregation of characteristics in humans that and genes do not follow a specific pattern they randomly assort just to check out this what mendel did was he did a dye hybrid experiment with his pea plant or pisin sativum and we all know that a dye hybrid experiment 
would include two different characteristics. For example, in this monohybrid experiment, if he crossed a tall plant with a dwarf plant, that was monohybrid experiment. Just having one single character or one single trait. But when he did his dihybrid experiment, that time he crossed seed color and this seed color were yellow and green along with seed shape that was wrinkled and round. When Mendel did this experiment, what he observed was that the F1 hybrid or you can say the F1 progeny were hybrid yellow and round and he did a dihybrid experiment that is he contrasted or he basically contrasted two different characteristics that is the seed color having yellow and green color with the seed shape that is round and wrinkle in shape. Now this is an example of how Mendel tried to prove his law of independent assortment experiment. What Mendel did? Mendel took two different plants or you can say two different Pisum sativum plants having different characteristics that is capital I, Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R and small y, small y and small r, small r. Now this were the parental generations. I have already told you all what this represents. After the mixing of gametes or you can say after the mixing of genotypes and phenotypes, the F1 generation had capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. It means it has round, wrinkled as well as diff different color seeds which were yellow, green, round, wrinkled seeds all were observed. Now when this F1 generation was segregated or it was performed into different types of heterozygous parents and when I say heterozygous parents it means different set of parents you all can see that every parent is different from each another and it has different dominant as well as recessive partners that is heterozygous if I say capital T and small r that is heterozygous but when I say capital T and small t then that's homozygous because it's dominant as well as its recessive partners are together now how does Mendel did the experiment? We all know that for doing a cross, in normal terms we say it as a check cross board but Mendel did his cross in a Punnett square. Now we all know the rules of Punnett square. How does a cross happen? You take the parents, heterozygous parents at one side and the another heterozygous parents which were similar on the another side. And by doing simple mathematical calculation that is by multiplying this with this, Mendel got this by multiplying capital Y by capital R with small y and small r, Mendel got capital Y, small y, capital R, capital R. He followed this same pattern in all his experiment. You can clearly say that whenever you multiply a gamut with its adjacent parent gamut, you get its progeny, which could be clearly seen. As you just notice over here, small y, small r is multiplied with capital R, capital Y and you get the progeny which is capital Y small y capital R small r. So Mendel did his experiments. So this is how Mendel did different of his crosses and he obtained a genotype or you can say this were its genotype and the phenotypic ratio that was obtained after this dihybrid cross was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Yes students so whenever we do a phenotypic ratio or that is a dihybrid cross this is the phenotype that is always observed students by this experiment mendel tried to prove that genes always assort independently they are never dependent on their homozygous parents or their heterozygous parents whatever the parents are or whatever the parent generation is genes will always assort differently and they will form different progeny and give different characteristics i hope you all are clear with this law of independent assortment Thank you.